All right, I think we're live right here. Let me check the group, you know. So Anthony here, let me let me see if I can I can't even show and stream. There we go. I can see you. Now you're in. There you go. Now you. We can see each other. And then I guess you're oh, all right. You should be in uh you should be in the group. And let me just let me see that shows up here. So today we got a question from Anthony. We're just testing out technology here. So Anthony, what's up, man? What kind of questions do you have? I'll try to see yeah. the answer. Yeah, so uh, you know, I'm new to the real estate game. I just I think I found out about it. I think at the end of last year, because I'm here, I'm here in Stockton with a uh, key. Yeah, you probably know him from the group. Yeah, so yeah. we're uh, cousins. So he's kind of like my mentor. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. So you know, I just wanted to ask you some questions about like your uh, real estate, like your career, and your the experiences that you've had. Because you know, I haven't. I'm still new. I haven't done. Uh, I've been looking for deals. I haven't found any good deals right now. Yeah, kudos to you, man. You you look so young. How old are you? I'm a twenty. Twenty? Yeah, I'm twenty years old. Wow, dude. Kudos to you, man. Starting out early at this age, you know. Yeah. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> I mean, just have this mentality. Uh, it's it's you know at that age, you you're gonna go far if you you stick with this. Because I didn't really start until I was like what twenty? You no, know, it's like 30, 32 ish, something like that. Oh, thirty two. Sure. Or somewhere in that. So uh, kudos to you for for uh, for doing this. So, uh, what do you want to know? How to get? How did I get started and stuff like that? Is that yeah, what you just, want to know? Or yeah, I just wanted to know like how you got started because I yeah. look ahead and it's all you know. Like it looks pretty like. I mean, it seems kind of intimidating. I'm trying not to think about that. I'm just thinking. I'm just trying to think about like right now. So I just wanted to know like how you got started and. It's how you not, about real estate? Yeah, it's not really about how I, I got started because you, your path might be different from mine. But uh, I can kind of give you some pointers if, you know, what you're doing. And maybe that might help you better. But uh, I can just do a quick summarize of what how I got started, right? So, you know, I got laid off, you know. Um, I got laid off by around that time when the, the last crash, like 2008-ish. Oh, yeah. So then I was like, "Oh man, what am I gonna do?" Because I just I just got newly married, right? And um, and then we just bought a house, right? So then here you are, you know, it's the first time you got laid off. And for those of you guys who just got, you know, who gets laid off, it's pretty embarrassing, you know. So you're like, and then you just got a new wife, and she probably, you know, you probably can think, "Oh, he's just a bum," you know. That's why that why they don't they don't want him or something like that, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so then, uh, you know, I was mowing the lawn, you know, I was just cutting the grass, and I'm like, all right, let me listen to some motivational stuff. So uh, I'm not sure where I got it. I think uh, YouTube or something, but there was this guy called Robert Kiyosaki. You know, Key probably introduced you to him, right? Yeah, he introduced me to the Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yeah, so you can find it on YouTube, whatever like that, and he talks about, you know, cash flow and stuff like that. So, I mean, uh, I don't know if you – have you even looked them up on YouTube and stuff like that? On YouTube? Yeah. No, I haven't. No, I have actually. I've not used looked up on YouTube. I've, the only I read his Rich Dad Poor Dad, and yeah. that's all the information I have about. Yeah. That's all the books I read from him so far. Yeah. So just go on uh, YouTube and just type in Rich Dad or Robert Kiyosaki, and then uh, he'll talk about cash flow. You know, um, and then he'll talk to you about the mindset. You know. As far as you know, a, uh, like difference between a job and dif difference between owning a business and stuff like that. Yeah. And so that's kind of what got me started, right? Because because that was kind of like my thing was I was gonna have to look for another job when I got laid off, right? And then it's like you're depending on that, right? So you don't want that to happen again because it already happened to you, right? So you're like, oh, yeah. you know, I don't want that. You know, and it's you know to to go all over again. So then my, you know, I wanted to see if there's another something else that can help me. So yeah, I was still looking for a job, and then but his mindset changes everything. You know, he's talking about cash flow. So then that changes your whole mindset. So 
um that's how i got started man it's like uh just uh you follow that guy if, i mean if you're already interested in, in real estate he changed a lot of people um mindset and made a, a lot of people money just by teaching that one particular you know cash flow mindset you know so yeah. um so then you know so i got so basically what you know fast forward you know i, I found a job and then um started buying real estate uh in between and then you know recently i got laid off like you know a year ago and i already had I already built it built this whole portfolio right of like right. like i think it was like uh 26 properties you know oh. so then you know got laid off again right and i was like i wasn't in phase i didn't i'm like whatever you know because i was already building that income so it was enough to like pay for the bills and everything like that you know so i didn't have to i didn't have to go back to work if i needed to and i can just work on real estate or you know because you know at that point i was already having like another kid and two so yeah. we're like you know yeah i can i can do this i can juggle you know real estate and you know take care of the newborn so that's the that's the quickest part that's just a quick summary of what I, how how i got started but uh in your eyes you're 20 right so yeah i'm 20. so you're probably wondering how i got started or how how you can get started right yeah i mean right now what i've been doing is i've been trying to read but i've honestly um like admittedly i've been slacking off recently like for the past couple months and this yeah. month i started i started like uh i've been forced myself to try to read every day and yeah. you know like watch like you know the bigger pocket podcasts come on and i force myself to watch them even though like i don't want to yeah yeah so and i've been every day i look on you know i look i use zillow i use realtor and i try to find i try to look at what's coming up around the market I haven't found any good deals yet wow dude you're already doing all the advanced stuff that that most people are doing already you know if you're looking at zillow and stuff like that i mean let, let's start out by saying you know uh let's just say hi to everybody you know because there's a there's a lot of people on this call well not oh, this call, hey, but on this cast. so we got anthony uh you know we were i was just testing out this technology and he was willing to come on and he, he has some questions for me and i was just like okay you know why don't we just test it on you know on this group to see how it works and uh, he's willing to come on and he, he said he was going to ask me some questions and you know we're just going to go back and forth uh so anthony's 20 at stockton right Stop yeah, I'm in Stockton. Yeah, California. So anybody in California, just give him a shout out. You know, say hey. You know, so um, yeah, you're already doing all the advanced stuff already. So let's let's let me ask you, like, what's your motivation at this point? Like, how did what got you into this? You know, real estate investing. Uh, well, well, I mean, well, I think the big part was that. Uh, he, uh, you know, Key, he was telling me all about like real estate investing, and he was, and so so um, I think they're flippers, like him and his family. I think they, I don't, I'm not sure how many uh, deals they flip, but I know they've flipped. And he was just telling me about like, oh yeah, all the good stuff about flipping, and that oh, if I want to get started, then I should read, you know, Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yeah. And so that that didn't really change my mind. Like I was still like kind of like the poor dad mindset but you know my fam my family's kind of like that and so that's just what i grew up with and that's what i know yeah and then and then uh like the, the last year the end of last year one of my uh one of my cousins passed away he actually, i don't know he actually committed suicide Ooh, so yeah. yeah so we were dealing with that and one of the reasons was that he was like financially like he was fine. He was in financial shambles, basically. Like you know, yeah, he had, yeah. He was working like fourteen dollars an hour, but his rent he was his rent was like eighteen hundred. You know, living with a girlfriend and and yeah, money was one of their big problems. And so I you know I didn't I didn't want to have to worry about money. You know, I wanted to be like free. Yeah. I wanted to you know I want to have more time to spend with my family and my kids. So that's where it really kickstarted the like the like the drive for financial freedom yeah so then i read his book and then i just started there dude that's awesome dude i mean like i i say 
I know it's funny when we when I talk to people and they say, you know, I tell them, hey, you know, money is right next to like air and water because it yeah. is kind of right because you need air and water to to stay alive. But that's the next thing is you need money to like, you know, take care of yourself, buy food, you know, take care of like, you know, people around you, uh, yeah. I don't know, your friends, your family, your your church, you know, your community and stuff like that. So, yeah. So that's good. That, that's a pretty good why you know, like yeah. what you're trying to aim for. Yeah, um, you know, I, I read, uh, you know, after reading Rich Dad Poor Dad, you know, that completely, that was like life altering. That you know, that made me see money in like a whole new way. Yeah. And so, so I was trying to tell my, you know, I was trying to tell my family about it. And yeah. Was, they, uh, uh, <laughs> no, go ahead. So what did, yeah, what did you I was think? trying to tell my family about it. You know, they, they, they understand, but. I think they're mostly set in their ways. I think, I mean, I've tried, yeah, like I said, I've tried talking to them Yeah. about, like, you know, rich dad, poor dad, mine's, like, the differences between the two. And I think another, yeah. the other important book that I've read was uh, 10X Rule from Grant Grant Cardone. Oh. I, think, I think those are the two, <laughs> I think if you want to get started in real estate, those are, like, the two, um, those are the two biggest books, like, the most important books that I've read so far. Because, you know, I, I know every day I go and ask myself, you know, like, like you know, is Rich Dad, will Rich Dad be proud of me for what I'm doing? You know, am I living up to my full potential? Yeah. You know, so questions like that. And then sometimes I don't like the answers, and then I like, have to do stuff to make my, to change that. You have to do what? To... I, have to, I have to, like, um, like every day I ask myself, like, whenever I do something, I, I ask myself, like, you know, what would, you know, would Rich Dad be proud of me? <laughs> or, like, you know, am I, like, you know, would Grant Cardone be happy if he saw what yeah. I was doing right now? So that, dude, that's, that's how perfect. I try to, that's dude, how I try you're to the man. Myself. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. That's that's the best way to do it. You know, I do that, too. You know, I do that, too, now. It's like, uh, you know, the real estate stuff, you know, I was like, you know, I asked myself, would, is this right, you know, according to what Rich Dad would do? And Rich Dad yeah. talks about, like, like leverage, right? Yeah. Like, like leverage, always leverage your money, right? So like, yeah, like yeah use other people's money. Using other people's money, right? Um, yeah. and then and then uh, our uncle G, right? Our uncle G. Yeah. Yeah, he talks about like go large, right? Yeah. Yeah, he so, says yeah, success is your duty. Yeah. So you got to be aiming for success, you know, and you know. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's that's kind of what's on my mind every day. Like, you know, I have that. I mean, I bought the sticker, so I, I put it right next to my door. So every time when I walk out the door, you know, I see that it's success is my duty, you know, and then who's got my money? That's that's the sticker that's yeah. right next to my door, you know. So, yeah, yeah uh, dude, you're on the right track. So, um, so what are you doing now these days, you know? Oh, like, um, oh, uh, right now I'm working at Amazon, yeah, like that's my job yeah so i work is so and then after amazon usually when i get home i i like change clothes real quick and i go work out with my uncle like yeah. he has like a little gym setup so i go to his house i do some weights and then yeah. after for about like an hour an hour and a half i get back and then i do cardio like i do um i do run on the elliptical at home and during that time i try to watch like a video like a real estate video like usually for bigger pockets <laughs> and then after that then it's just after that you know i'm free so yeah like i said i've been slacking off i've been playing a lot more games recently which i'm not proud of and i haven't been putting effort into reading which is why i'm trying to make myself read every day now for like this month well now i mean now you see i mean you're already telling yourself that yeah you are slacking off so you realize the problem so that's good you know um you're still young so maybe you know you still want to play around you know, in game and stuff like that. I get it. I get it. You know. Yeah. So yeah. So I mean, tell me about how you're researching your deals. I mean, how do you how do you look at your deals? How do I look at my deals? Well, first I look at the I look at the purchase. Well, because you know California is an expensive neighborhood, and especially Stockton. Yeah. Like I think uh, Stockton right now is good for rentals because we have a lot of people who live in Stockton who who um, commute to the Bay Area. Yeah. And so I've been. So I compare. So I look at the purchasing price. I look at the rent, and then if it doesn't like work, like if the if the rent like it'll work, like the if the rent barely covers a mortgage, you know, 
Yeah. Like, you had to calculate, you know, CapEx. You had to calculate property management fees. You had to calculate, like, repairs. Wow. So yeah. most of the deals don't work out. So I don't, I don't even bother making, like, uh, most of the time I don't bother making an offer because. Um, Are you making offers already? Oh, no, not, not yet. I'm just uh, looking right now. Oh, you're, you're just thinking about it, right? Yeah, I'm just thinking about it right now. That's awesome. You're already, you're already doing the calculations in your head. Are you using the the bigger pockets calculator or anything like that, or are you um, just kind of doing? Oh no, I haven't. Mm-hmm. No, I just found out about that this week. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't. Well, I haven't like actually used it yet, but I've heard, I've learned I've heard about it. Well, as long as you got that in your head already, and that's already you already you know you're there, like you're already thinking about capbacks, you know, stuff like that. So uh, that's good. I mean, you can do it on this, on a like a little Excel spreadsheet, and that should be fine as well. So. Uh, that's awesome so, so so you're doing you you know you're doing the you're looking at deals uh or, or about funding funding what do you no, have i haven't no uh, um i've been i've been focusing more on deals yeah because you know i posted a couple of times in this group and a lot of and i think some people say that you just focus on looking on deals because when you find the when you find the right deal then the money will come yeah. So you know, I'm kind of worried about funding, but I just focus on looking at the deals first. Because if the yeah. deals don't, if I can't find deals, then it doesn't matter if I have funding because I won't, it won't be a good deal anyways. Kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, you got. That's right, man. Man, you're on the right track. So, um, yeah. What questions do you have at this point? You know, I I got nothing for you. Uh, okay. Well, <laughs> questions I have is uh. So, so you know, like you know, my family they have like the oh uh, my what Richard Robert, Robert Kiyosaki would say is the like rich dad poor dad kind of uh, mindset, and yeah. I, I've been trying to break out of that. Um, how do you how do you deal with people who are like like especially family who's like you know who disagrees with you kind of thing? Like, yeah, I see I see where you're going there. Yeah, um, it's it's I mean you're gonna have to show them, you know. So uh, first, at first, you 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 tell them about it, right? Because you're excited. You're like, oh yeah, I can't wait to tell you about this kind of stuff, you know. But that's just you. You're excited, but you know they they're not excited, so they really don't care. But once you start doing stuff on your own and you start seeing like progress, they're gonna realize, oh, he's 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 onto something, right? So yeah, yeah, and and. And that's why that's kind of like the reason why I created this group, right? There's a home real estate investors group because, you know, we need support for each other, right? So like last week I was having like a rough week, right? Yeah. And I just like, you know, I just I just kind of put in there, hey, you know, what's, uh, how do you guys deal with it? You know, just to see if anybody else have uh, like almost quit real estate investing because I was almost at that point. And then you know you get all these people like messaging me. I mean, you didn't see it in the in the in the in the posting, but a few people did reach out to me, and we kind of talked about it. And you know, they got they say they did certain things to you know to you know. So so that's kind of like this is kind of like our support group, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. the same mindset because you know we're all here to make money with real estate. So you got to find the right click, I guess, right yeah. to be with. So if you're if you're in the wrong click, you know that deep that doesn't motivate you either, and it could, you know, pull you back, as, and it maybe discourage you from doing this. So that's what that's the whole reason I have in this group. So uh, yeah, reach out to other people. Say hey, this is what I'm doing. You know, always reach out. Say hey, you know, and look for people to network with. But if they don't, you can also fall back to us. Cause this is what we do. Yeah. Yeah. That's your biggest thing, is uh, um, yeah, just how to yeah, just how to deal with family who, yeah, who like who uh, don't agree with what you want to do. Like I don't know, I don't know if you remember, but I was asked about you know my parents' house is almost paid off, so I was asking them if I could use their HELOC, but you know they're not they're not entirely thrilled with that. Yeah, and I, I I was talking to Key. He said that you know that. Like, is that what you said? You know, I have no experience. I have no uh, track record. So you know, they're leveraging their house, but they don't know if I'll. Uh, they don't know if I'll go through just because I'm inexperienced. Yeah. So yeah. I, mean, I was kind of disappointed with. I was kind of disappointed, but you know, I've, I mean, they'll be disappointed because you haven't 
showing yourself, you know, because yeah. they see you. I mean, and your parents know you personally, right? Maybe yeah. it's your, your habit, you know, or something. Maybe you game too much, you know? <laughs> yeah, I do, I do game. I've been so they, gaming a lot. So they're like, yeah, he just got an idea, which, you know, if they see you like working on deals all the time and you're like, you know, you're showing these numbers and they're like, they might just look at one day and go, okay, hey, hey, that makes sense, you know? But, you know, they know you physically and they know you because they see you every day. So, you know, like, like Uncle G says, you know, it's sold to be sold, right? So either yeah. you didn't sell them, you know, what you're trying to do, right? Yeah. You didn't sell them this particular plan because, you know, they can see it. To you. They can see what you're doing. So you got to sell that to them. So, you know, maybe you, maybe you start gaming for a while. Maybe you start looking at deals and you keep showing them, Hey, this is, this is a great deal. You know, we make so much money. And then, you know, as progress, they go, okay, yeah, I think he's onto something, you know, yeah. but, uh, but first of all, I mean, you might want to do something on your own. Yeah. That's right? probably, yeah. They, yeah. They said that Prove they wanted it. me to do my first deal on my own. And yeah. they, they would help, they would support me, but they wanted it to be uh, mostly me like, yeah. doing it. Like me, like, you know, funding, me funding it, you know, finding it, and then actually, you know, rehabbing it or, you know, managing it, whatever, yeah. whichever path I choose. Yeah, you got to show them. You got to show them, like, what you can do, you know. Like family, you know, friends and family is kind of like the hardest thing to uh, to convince. It's strangers that you, uh, that are easier yeah so if you think like that then just focus on yourself you know prove it to them and then it becomes easy afterwards yeah, yeah um yeah i got yeah i have a couple more questions if you don't mind yeah yeah so like yes. so, yeah. uh hey guys you guys any questions for this guy comment below and hopefully he we, we can ask if we can give him some uh, pointers or do you guys any statements you know give him some uh give this young guy this 20 year old you know guy you know who's looking to do real estate investing uh some motivation or uh just some pointers but uh yeah what's your what's your other question yeah so so um what are the some of the like what are the, some of the creative ways that you find deals because i've been looking i've been looking you know zillow and realtor but i mean uh, I can only I can only find so much on there. Like, how do you find like, off market deals, or how do you find deals creatively? Yeah, so so I so there's many ways in real estate that you can find deals, right? For me, um, I just do the MLS, and and the reason why is I like to focus on a certain area, and I I like to target that area, and whatever pops up, I'm only focusing just for whatever MLS listing that comes up and and then i throw it into my bigger pockets calculator right? right and then i adjust the prices to what it how it works so i don't know if have you gone through like the bigger pockets like seminars that they do no no i haven't no, i haven't got any of those yeah so like every week they do like a free seminar on how they do a deal analysis so oh. so every week they'll show you how they look at a particular deal so so I'll, I'll target a particular zip code and any new listing that comes up, I'll see it and I'll throw it into my bigger pockets calculator to the, the numbers, how I like it to be. And if it works out, I make the offer. That's how I do it. You know, I don't do anything creative. You know, I do all my deals are 20% down and conventional loan. That's all I do. So that's, that's my strategy. I know there's other people that do like these creative you know, real estate, you know, strategies and stuff, but this is my niche because I, you know, because I have a family, you know, my situation is different from them because they, they, they can probably do the rehab and stuff like that. And they could probably like, you know, be out there like 20 hours a day. Whereas I got like four kids I got to take care of. So I can't, I can't waste any time trying to fix stuff. See what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah, that's my strategy is just straight up something simple. I look at the listing. If the price looks right, I can uh, I can adjust it to my capex and all my vacancy and all that expense. And if it works out, uh, or if I can adjust the prices, I'll make that offer and then and hopefully they take it. If they don't, then that's fine. I move on. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we can bring one of those guys on the on the on the group and 
maybe we can ask questions like that too. Yeah. I just hold on. Wait, so uh, wait, so when you're look when you're looking at rental properties, what kind of uh, what kind of cash on cash return do you look for? Do you look for like is yeah. there, what percent do you aim for, or what like monthly cash flow do you aim for? Yeah, I look for thirteen percent. Oh, thirteen percent cash on cash. Thirteen percent cash on cash. Like, yeah, I, I call it like the spooky. You know, Friday the thirteenth. Friday 13 or you know whatever it is but 13 is my number so it has to make it has to meet that 13 percent mark uh for cash on cash for me to make and you know uh the minimum 200 bucks 200 you know, bucks um, 200 bucks in profit after all the expenses yeah. same thing pretty much from what bigger pocket is offering so how's the market in florida is it uh, is it expensive like california so uh, California, yeah. in California, in, <laughs> in Stockton, like my house is about like four hundred, almost four hundred k. So in it's like yeah, it's part. a little, it's a little cheaper than that. It's a little bit cheaper. Know? So the markets, you know, you gotta think the market is a little different from like California, because California you buy to live in, right? When you buy these single family, you buy to live in, but you know. You don't see a lot of landlords. I don't know if there is it, but you don't see a lot of landlords. I don't see a lot of landlords because the landlord laws in California are harder. Oh yeah, they're yeah they're property. yeah they're tenant yeah they, they they're more favoring inside of the tenants. Yeah, so then in Florida, the 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 landlord tenant laws a lot, you know, they're more aimed toward the benefits the the landlord. So. Uh, yeah, if you look into, I mean, what what are you focusing on? You focusing on the flip, or you focusing on to to rent? Um, right now, I'm not really sure. I'm looking at. I mean, I'm thinking about the birth strategy. I looked at that, and I you know that looks pretty nice. So yeah, and I just want to like I don't want to overthink like all the different strategies. I just kind of want to like you know like uh, do it and then learn like you know learn on the way. Yeah, I think the the bird strategy might be kind of hard for uh, for uh, California. Just the fact that if you're gonna rent, you're gonna face that um, that obstacle where it's not landlord friendly. Yeah, so that's why you see like a lot of like the the TVs uh, how they'll buy stuff in California and they'll fix it up and they and then they'll flip it. You see that? Yeah because they don't have to manage it, you know? But I don't know, that's just my thought, you know? Uh, I could be wrong, but uh, the, re the the reason why I say that is just the, the laws, the landlord laws are a lot harder. Yeah, that, yeah, that's one of the things. Um, I was actually I was actually considering moving to uh, like a different state, like one with uh, that's, like, a state that's more favored towards landlords. I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, landlords, because so you know, I would so I wouldn't have to you know deal with California's landlord tenant laws. <laughs> but I, I'm not sure if like that's the uh, right. I'm not sure if that's like the right decision. Like I'm not sure if I should like move out and try you know, uh, like buying holding or if I should just should just stay in California and focus on you know flipping. Yeah, that's gonna be up to you. You know, like what you what you think you can be capable of doing. So yeah. right now. I, you said, are you married? Oh no, I'm single. Yeah. I, I, well, you... I still live. I live in my parents' home. I help them with like the, some of the bills, but I live with my parents. Yeah. So you you got, you know, your strategies are wide open. You have like, you know, once you're, once you're, once you're married with kids, your your strategy becomes a little bit focused. But you're you're single. You can do all kinds of stuff. You know, because you have plenty of time on your hands. So, yeah, that's up to you. See how what your your um your risk factor is i guess or what that's what i say you know yeah i mean i would like to think that my risk tolerance is my risk tolerance is like higher than like average i'm not i'm not really sure yeah. what high what, what constitutes well, you can do anything like you yeah can, but you know i'm willing to try to yeah. try something because you know if i lose it all then 
I still have the back of my family and I don't have like a family that I'm providing for right now. Yeah. Yeah. So let me see here. See, uh, if you already, I think you see, there's a couple of things yeah. people are saying, don't worry too much about family or friends Two goes. Don't worry too much about family. I lost some old friends and family, but I gained so much real friends and family along the way. <laughs> So yeah, so yeah, let me just see if I can mute this and look at yeah, well, uh, I can't I can't look at my chats. Oh, I can look at my chats on my right side. Okay. Let me see here. All right. Yeah, so somebody said, good for you to get started, bro. I wish I got started back in my twenties. So somebody's already I don't see the names, but you know, somebody's already Oh, that was two. And then um uh, free coaching from Chai. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny. Uh, me, me says, where are you looking, Anthony? Uh, he, oh. So me, he's from Stockton, right? Yeah, I'm from Stockton. And, uh, it's okay. California. So we believe you. So Mango's, hey, Mango's, hey, he believes in you. So there you go. He got some encouragement there. And, and Mango's moved to Oklahoma. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't think about alcohol, but I know there's some other business opportunities over there. So, what's your other question? Last question. My other question. Um, let's see, so, uh, what kind of advice would you give to um, like someone who's new and wants to start real estate investing? So, you know, I'm I'm still in that boat where I haven't done any. I, I haven't done any. Um, like, you know, I don't have any. I don't have much experience besides what I've read. So, yeah. you know, when I'm doing a deal, what are some of the things that I need to watch out for? I mean, yeah. Like, I'm not well, sure. Okay, so, yes, yeah, almost, almost, you know, a two question there. But um, so if we're talking about as a new investor, uh, get your money right, right? Um, leverage, right? So Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, talks about leverage. So once you leverage it, you don't have to go through a bank, right? So once you got your money right, your credit right, you know, you, you're, you're you're in the right ballpark. So then once you make the offer, um, you're going to get checked again because the bank's going to check you, make, make sure you're, you know, you know what you're doing, right? And they're also going to check your finances. So the bank's not going to give you, they're not going to give you money if you don't, if it's not going to make you money. Right. So if they if they give you that loan, that means that you are you're you're in the right direction, right? Um, but it's always about you know, like you're already doing you're already doing the right stuff. You're already looking at you know you already know the terms cash. I didn't know cash on cash until like I was close to like thirty five something like that. So you're already in the right ballpark. Just keep learning that kind of stuff. That learn all the terms. Um, once you learn all the terms, you know, and then you're already doing the analysis, right? So you right. know, I mean, you're you're all, you're almost there, right? You just need to find your down payment, get your credit score, your money right, and make that offer, and then you're gonna get double checked by the bank. The bank's gonna say, okay, right. great, you know, the deal looks right, you know, you're gonna profit from it, and then they're gonna give you that money. So uh, once once you close on that deal, we the bank knows that they're gonna profit if you do what you see you're going to do if you're yeah. going to rent it for whatever that you told them you're going to rent it for right and right. and they'll they'll get all that from an appraisal an appraisal will go out and look at the rent in that market where you brought that property and they're going to yeah. say okay all right i mean well i know we're talking about like uh just renting as a landlord yeah but even even as like if you're gonna flip, it's almost the same thing because those guys are gonna look at that particular deal and say, okay, can you profit from that? So it's almost the same thing. Yeah. All right. So that's it, man. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> you think <laughs> so? <laughs> yeah. What is it? What am I missing? Let's see. Um, all right. So when you're like re when you're rehabbing properties um like what are like i'm not sure if this is a good question but like when you're rehabbing properties what are what are like some mistakes that 
what are some mistakes that like I should that I should look out for because I because I'm still new to it. Yeah, so if you're gonna go that route, let's do this because I don't rehab. Oh, so okay. let's, let's do something that you know, like somebody who's done it. Maybe we oh. maybe we'll get one of those guys on the call, oh, right? And then you can ask those guys some questions. You yeah, know, cause, this yeah, is perfect. Even, yeah, yeah, because I have uh, yeah, because you know, Key and his family said they would help me with my first deal, but you know, I don't want to. But you know, after that first deal, like, it's all me, and I don't want to. Um, and like, I want to make sure that you know, I have like, if I choose to do rehab, to have the rehab numbers right, so that you know, I, so that I you know if it's a good deal, so I can know if it's a good deal or not. Mm -hmm. No. so let's do this so let's get one of our our guys that actually done a flip and maybe get on the call with you and then let's just let's take it from there you know because okay. you know i wouldn't tell you something that i haven't done yet so you know you want to know from somebody who's actually done it and then go from there so uh that's it man thanks for joining on this call yeah, i think thanks. we're gonna go with this format because this seems to be working so far and um i don't yeah, have anything else to say you know other than if you guys like this uh give us a like you know on this give us a thumbs up um and um if you guys anybody who wants to join any flippers out any any real estate flipper that wants to join on this call with uh, anthony maybe we can get you guys together and you can kind of discuss and help this guy out you know and uh, make his dreams come true <laughs> yeah all right man you have a good night uh yeah. keep hustling. uh I like what you're doing uh you're starting out pretty good pretty good at age 20 so um thanks again bro uh, thanks all right yeah, thanks for taking the time to you know coach me yeah no worries man we're here for each other you know um just helping you know another investor you know that's all it is so all right good night everybody and uh Keep hustling. All right. Yeah, good night. See you later, man. All right. Bye.